Before I start, let me explain the title and the idea of my presentation. There's a little story about that. So in June, I've been asked to do the presentation here on Exacut's latest releases. And of course, I said yes. It's a big honor for me to be here on that stage today. And then during my vacation, I was just resting my bones at a beach in Spain. I've been racking my brain on what to show exactly and how to get your attention. I figured out that this might be challenging for two reasons. The first reason, yeah, Identity Card Rijeka has already been released end of June, and we see that already a couple of people here are using it. Um, the prototype had been released for our resellers al already in April. There's a video tutorial already available with more than 5,000 clicks. So I guess you probably know most of the stuff already. And the second reason is I got only 30 minutes here for my presentation, and there's also a good reason for that. There are so many great speakers here today and tomorrow waiting to be on that stage. Yeah, some of my friends, especially those from Belgium and Luxembourg, might think that this is probably my favorite bar somewhere in East Belgium. Nope. This is unfortunately not the case. It's actually the splash screen of Dental Cut Rijeka, which comes with more than 45 new and 85 enhanced features. And I hope you understand now that I can show all the features here today. In the teaser on the screen, you can see all the highlights I was not able to squeeze into my presentation. And if you'd like to see all the highlights in detail, I recommend to check out our YouTube channel and to watch the video on the latest Rijeka release. And now listen to this one. On Friday, I've been informed there will be a service release soon, probably next, uh, next week, and it will include a new feature again. So, okay, last night I had to open my PowerPoint again and I added a feature. You will see it at the end of the teaser. It still has no official name. Let's call it the 3D data preview on the dental DB. It will allow you when opening a project in a DB to have a preview of your scan data, which is in the project folder. Before I forget, Rijeka is a city in Croatia, which is actually the capital of culture, culture for 2020 and 21. And the next release will be Exoplan 3.1 Rijeka. The date of the release is actually depending on the regulatory clearance, but I can already tell you we are currently in the final testing phase. Now we see here, just by the way, we see the new feature in the next service release, which will be available soon. You can have a preview of the scan data, and you can even maximize it to, the, to a full screen. As you can see, the overall situation doesn't make it easy for me, but I think I found a way to get your attention, though, and to show you a lot of new things. Four weeks ago, I got finally the idea how to do that. Let me explain. In July, I met Dr. Christian Coachman. We had a lunch together and a nice chat, and I listened to him. And in fact, he inspired me to think about, and maybe to talk about, state-of-the-art digital dentistry in my presentation and Exocat's latest release, uh, latest features you absolutely need if you want to be part of modern digital dentistry. So as an introduction, in the next two slides, I will, short, I will share shortly with you my thoughts about modern digital dentistry. To start, what is digital dentistry? Yes, of course, it always starts with a patient and a dentist, a dentist who might use an intraoral scanner or even an impression. If you have a, a dental lab, digital lab, which is using a desktop scanner, you can scan the model. Usually, dental labs are doing the production themselves or they send them to a so-called milling center or production center. What is missing here to call this modern digital dentistry? Well, it's all about planning and collaboration. Planning in the lab, in the dental office, or maybe as a planning center. Planning is becoming more and more important in our business. We are doing already backward planning since we are using Exocut. If you do a reduced crown, you do a design of the final restoration, and based on that information, the software helps you to create the reduced crown. Implant planning became more and more important in our, in our job, and in the last years, aesthetical smile planning became more and more common. So actually, we are creating many new opportunities. There's a new job emerging in our business, and it's your decision if you want to jump on the train and be part of modern digital dentistry. 
But what do you need? What are the requirements for modern digital dentistry? To put all these things together. We have chair set services, digital imaging, smile planning, guided surgery, restorative design, and the production. Well, as I just mentioned, it's all about planning and collaboration. Collaboration requires communication and a seamless integrated system from the intraoral scan to the machine. And last but not least, you need the know-how to use all that, to use the software, to use the hardware. Exocut has set itself the goal to bring all that together. Okay, now it's time to talk about software. In the following slides, I'll show you my favorite top 10 highlights you absolutely need if you want to be part of modern digital dentistry. Let's start with the dental share on the web view. You probably know these tools. However, I would like to remind you about their importance as these tools are essential for collaboration and communication. The dental share allows you to exchange data between clinicians, dental technicians, and production centers. With a simple click, you can forward the entire case to your partner. You can even add additional data. You can add pictures. You can add a comment, a question. You can receive data and answers and comments, etc. And you can even check the status of your job when sending it to a production center. For example, if it has been accepted, milled, or shipped. The web view allows you to share interactive 3D pre previews of your Exocut design. The recipient, your partner, doesn't need any software or license, just a web browser. He gets a link, he can open it in any kind of web browser or on his mobile phone. We have a free app which is uh, compatible to all the current uh, systems. And we are constantly working on optimization of both tools, and they are free of charge for all with a valid upgrade contract. The next feature is called Reuse 2 Setup or I call it, or it's also called in the software, the automatic export and import of tooth models. And this is actually my favorite and probably the most important for digital collaboration and also for predefined workflow, as Till already mentioned now earlier. And it's very easy to use, in fact, but maybe hard to explain. That's why I dedicated three slides here into my, in my presentation to really make sure that you understand the power of this tool. So now every time you do a tooth placement or a smile design, this will be saved as a digital tooth setup in your project and can be reused later without any cumbersome workflow. And together with the smile creator and the mock-up feature, it opens up new unlimited possibilities. For example, if you create a mock-up first, you can now, besides the clip-on and the mock-up model, easily create uh, provisional, the final restoration, any kind of implant restoration, even an, a simple crown restoration, uh, and even the implant planning. So with the next version of Exoplan, Rieka, you can even use it for the planning. And this is also very important um, because yeah, even if you're doing a planning in the anterior area, it's always better to have the two set up first. How does that look like in the software? Well, yeah. For each indication, and not only when using the mock-up feature, the two setup will be saved. However, I really recommend to work with the mock-up feature if you are doing a planning on unprepped case. I still see people on Facebook using the Pontix. Since Rieka, we have this nice feature, this, this indication here, and it's really perfect. The moment you finished the tooth placement or the smile creator steps, your tooth placement will be saved as a digi digital setup into the project folder. So each tooth will be saved as an individual file, like a closed SDL. It's a kind of tooth library file. And now you can change the indication or even duplicate the project. And I recommend to duplicate the proje project when changing an indication. You have the advantage then that you keep the initial design untouched. So usually you have first a planning, you duplicate it, and then you do the restoration. And now each time you start the dental cut from scratch, and if the software detects there is a two setup available in the project folder, you will be prompted if you want to use it or not. If you do not, of course, you have to do the entire workflow, tooth placement, etc. 
you can then also choose to import it as a pre-op or as libraries. If you use it as a pre-op, you have to follow the pre-op workflow, where you do first a tooth placement and adapt it to the pre-op. If you load it as tooth libraries, automatically this setup will be merged with your margin with your chrome button. You skip the tooth placement step, you save a lot of clicks, a lot of time, and you keep the initial design for the final restoration. Let's have a, lo a look at the nice use case and how that can look like in real life. So that's actually the case we are showing tomorrow, after tomorrow morning in our software session. From aesthetic smile and implant planning to a provisional restoration in two visits. I hope you get some appetite for the software sessions. We will show how the entire process works in a seamless integrated workflow. Let me explain the case. For aesthetical reasons, the anteriors will be prepped. And in the posterior area, we want to place three implants, and we want to create a temporary bridge on the entire arch. The challenge is to plan, design, and produce a full arch cement and implant retained bridge before the second visit. Such a case usually starts in the dental practice. The dentist is doing the case analysis, the case planning and imaging. He's doing CBCT scan, intraoral scan, patient picture, and then, then he does the job definition in the dental DB. Then he can send the entire case to the back office, to a colleague, or maybe himself does the smile planning, or he could even send it to a planning center, as we already mentioned earlier. And here we do now the digital smile planning. First, we do the mock-up, and we can do all that while the patient is still waiting. We have shown that at IDS last year, it takes round about an hour to do the planning and to print the mock-up if you have a fast printer. Then we do the try-in. We can still do some corrections on the digital design. And once the design has been approved by the dentist, we send the entire case to the dental lab through the dental chair, which is displayed by the orange icon here. And there we can start now with the implant planning. And we use all the data. We use the DICOM data, the scan data, and the digital tool setup. We do the implant planning. We send it maybe back to the dentist to get an approval. That here we can also use the dental chair. And then we do the surgical guide design and reprint the surgical guide. Just by the way, the entire case here is a printable case. If the implant planning is done and approved, we send it to the CUTCOM department in the same lab. And they will now use all the data. They will use the scan data, the picture, uh, the two setup to design now the temporary bridge. And here are the challenges. So we are actually using here, as you can see, uh, stock abutments. That's a new feature in the Rieka release. And with the virtual uh, implant positions of the implant planning and the immediate load feature, we can already do the design before the implants will be placed. And that's the cool thing. If everything is printed, everything is ready, all the physical parts, the bridge, the surgical guide, and the stock abutments will be sent back to the dental practice. We invite the dentist for a second visit. We do the tooth preparation, the implant surgery, and the insertion of the temporary on the same day and the second visit means the patient can leave the office at the second visit with a good looking, aesthetical, temporary restoration. And that's the best we can do. That's, for me, the future of digital dentistry. And the goal is always to have a happy patient with a new smile. The next feature is also quite related to that. It's called, it's a beta feature, it's called Merge Scene Files. And this is a terrific new tool for the real expert users here and for the add remove mesh lovers. So for those people who like to import, export, etc. cetera, as Till already mentioned, we have now a much better tool, which makes it much easier to do that. I know combining meshes from different scenes was always possible, but sometimes cumbersome. Let's have a look at the short video. So you go to Tools, you go to Add, Remove, Mesh, and here you load a secondary scene file into your current scene. This scene file will be displayed in a separate window. Now we are loading the scene. You see now the second scene in your main scene as a separate window, even with a show height window. You can rotate the model, etc. And in the show height, you can now select the objects which are interesting for you. 
And then you decide the target mesh if you want to import it as a generic visualization mesh, as a WhatsApp pre-op or whatever. And then it will be imported. And you can even merge multiple meshes. And the cool thing is we have a guided scan data alignment to make sure that objects from the loaded scene show up at the correct in the correct position of your current scene. Because we know if you do a scan and a second scan, yeah, both are quite logically at a different position. The screenshot management, yeah. I know screenshots was all, doing screenshots was always possible with print screen, but now you can do much more with them. So you go to tool, to screenshot management, and here you can now capture the main view of your screen with an up to 4x resolution. Means with a much higher resolution as you actually have on your screen. Of course, you can also capture an area manually, and you can load additional pictures into your screenshot management from the hard disk and manage them. And the best thing here is with one click, now you open the screenshot in your image editing software, whatever it is, if it's Paint, Photoshop, you, you do editing in that picture, and you can do drawing, and when you close the editing software, it will automatically apply it to your screenshot, and now you can manage all the screenshots. You can save them individually or the entire set. And here in the settings of the software, you can define which is your favorite image editing software. And I think that's really a fancy, cool new tool to work with screenshots. Yeah, and if your smile looks like this, it's time to go to somebody using a smile creator. The smile creator has become a very sophisticated tool and Rieka Smile Creator comes with some tremendous new key features and significant improvements. Yeah, let's start with the instant in-face visualization, as you can see here. Once you have finished the smile design, you see the result of it within the pac patient picture in a separate window for the rest of the entire design. Means even later in tooth placement and freeform, on the fly you see each changement in real time in, in uh, the visualization here. And the cool thing is a separate window from the main window, you can move it wherever you want to have it. You can even move it to a second screen and maximize it here on the second screen. Isn't that cool? Th this is the this is, uh, future of dental designing. This is actually what, for example, video editors are doing. You are working on one screen and you see the result on the fly on the other, on the other screen. And why not using this configuration together with the patient means you as a dentist, you are doing the smile design or whoever, and the patient can see in real time the result on the other screen. The split screen before after visualization is a slider, as you can see here, to better see the difference between the before and after, uh, after situation. And you can even maybe use that together with the patient to convince him that, that the treatment is required here. And of course, for better communication and collaboration, it's also important to create a report of your smile design. And this is now finally possible. You can choose the format and the size. Uh, you can choose between the dark and the light theme. You can individualize the content, so the helper lines, the, the pictures you are using, etc. And then you can save it as a PDF into your project folder or print it out directly out of the software. And last but not least, yeah, it's now also possible to import as a beta feature 3D face scans into the smile creator and use them for the smile design. Yeah, let's have a sneak preview on the upcoming Exoplan re release, even though it has not been released yet. Exoplan Rieka 3.1 will come with many excellent and useful new features, and I will show just a few of them. The first one is the surgical guide. We have extended the surgical guide protocol with a full drill sequence, and this is really revol revolutionary. So now, not only the final drill, but also the drills for the pilot hole will also be specified in the protocol. We have now a rapid pre-planning mode all steps like panoramic curve detection, nerve detection, and even implant placement can be done simultaneously in one single wizard step. 
And the good thing is the arrangement of the windows can be saved as your personal preset. Furthermore, we have improved and extended the implant component selection. Implants, sleeve, anchor pins, prosthetic parts can now be selected and positioned in the implant planning step. And simultaneous jaw planning is now possible. You can perform planning in both jaws at the same time, and you can also do the design of the surgical guide in the upper and lower jaw simultaneously. And the last one is the select base mesh for guide design. By the way, there are many, many other features, but I'm just showing here a couple of them. So the last one is the select base mesh for guide design. This is maybe a little bit harder to explain. Now we can easily import any kind of additional STL to be used as the bottom of your surgical guide. Good example is the dual scan protocol. Usually here, you use a DICOM, DICOM scan of your prosthesis with the radio opaque markers. You match it to the, at the same position to the, to the patient's head. And then you transform it into an SDL or into a mesh and use a part of it for the bottom of the surgical guide. Yeah, very often we have been reported that, yeah, maybe the surface is not accurate enough or whatever the reason is. Now you can import, for example, also an optical scan of your prosthesis and choose this as the bottom. So you match this one to the entire data set and you choose part of this mesh to be, um, to be the bottom of your surgical guide. Yeah, and uh, as I already mentioned in the beginning, your know-how is also very important and it's also very important to us. As a global head of application support and education, I've made this one of my main tasks and it is very close to my heart. In August, we have added training to the pro uh, product list of our web webshop. For those who don't know the webshop, check it out, shop.exocap.com. There you can buy upgrades for your current license and add-on modules. The good thing is, as I just mentioned, we have added training there. That's the first time in history that end users can buy training directly from Exocut experts. We know that our resellers are providing very good training and support, but there are many reasons why an end user might wish sometimes to have a training directly from us. Our technical help desk team have prepared a nice program here. You can buy training on the core version on release highlights, on any kind of add-on module, and you can even buy uh, bundles of training. A couple of years ago, we launched the ICTP, the Independent Certified Trainer Program. This is a program for expert users who want to be officially certified as independent software trainers with the goal to provide training to our users worldwide. Independent means that these persons are not employees of Exocut or employees of our resellers. And resellers are certified, their employees get trained and certified, but these people have only this chance. We invite them to the headquarter, we do a three-day training, we do a test with them, if they pass the test, they get the certificate and are allowed officially to provide training under the name or with the name as a certified Exocut trainer. And the good news about this is we have extended the program in August to Exoplan and ShareSecat. We have now certified the first Exoplan trainer last month. Check out our website if you need a training. The list of independent certified trainer is getting longer and longer. Approximately we are adding two new trainer per month. And if you are maybe interested in becoming such a trainer, yeah, just have a chat with me here at the, ch at the show or write a mail to service at exocat.com with the subject ICTP. Yeah, and last but not least, we have added much more resources on educational content production. And we have now a dedicated customer education department with two persons responsible. We have Clement Schwerin, who is actually responsible for the YouTube tutorials with the goal to provide one new video tutorial per month. And maybe you noticed in the last months already that we have extended the content tremendously of the wiki. And here, uh, it's Sarah Leandro, she's responsible for the wiki with the goal until the end of the year to update the wiki to the latest Rijeka release and to, that's the good thing, to translate the entire content to all the languages available in the wiki. Yeah, no, we are not done yet. There are still a few quite exciting new things you certainly do not know yet. I would also like 
to share with you here some important news that has emerged in collaboration with our partners. The first one is XSnap from Xvert GmbH. It's a kind of printable clip fold articulator, but it also allows protrusion and lateral protrusion. In fact, it's a real articulator, like a but as a little attachment for your model creator. And personally, I think that was a brilliant idea from Manuel Fricke. The last version is now available with new options, different new incisor pins, new different parameters, and more flexibility. Visit XSnap at the booth here at the show to get a full demonstration and all the options. For digital dentures, Ivoclar Evotion has already become established in dental CAD CAM. From my point of view, this is probably the most easiest way to design and produce digital dentures. The key of efficiency here is to produce a monolithic denture with one disk and one milling process. We have maybe to explain first how that works to understand how the software works. I've added here on the top right to the official picture of I Ivocla another picture explaining the blank a little bit. I hope that this is okay for Ivocla if that I did that. So you see the blank is consisting of two layers with this special wave, and this corresponds to the cervical area of the teeth, and the software will automatically place the two set into this area so that all the cervical areas are almost in that area. Let's have a look. We have, we have one blank for the upper jaw and a blank for the lower jaw. Let's have a look in the software how it looks like. Of course, you have to choose the right process and the Ivoclar Ivotion material. And now you see in light blue the visualization of the blank and the placement of the software. And you can still individualize the placement. And here in real time, you see then which part of the tooth is in the pink area or which part of the tooth is in the right area. And the same in the next step when you are designing the base part of, of the denture, the gingiva part. Here you have exactly the same option. And now we see the final result here, which is in fact one mesh. It's a monolithic watertight mesh. And it shows you the final result. What you see is what you get. So if you see that the teeth are correctly colored with a white color here means that they're well placed in a blank. And when you mill the blank or when you mill it in a blank, you get this as a result. Visit Ivocla at the, at the booth here at the show and in the partner session to get a full demonstration on the tooth. Yeah, and now for those who are still standing, you might want to take a seat. That's the world premiere at Insights. There is no Insights without a premiere. It's called the InCAT IO camera support for Itero. You hear the word already. Yeah, what do you need? Yeah, you need a partner. You need to have a dentist who has the Itero Element 5D Plus, and if he's doing a restorative case and sent the case to you through the Itero ExoCut connector version 3.1, that's important that it works, and you need to have Rieka 3.1, then you can get the benefits of this tool. Before I explain the tool or before I show the tool, I have maybe to explain how the intraoral scanner is working. Actually, the Itero scanner is using a technique which is called confocal microscopy. It's a, it's a laser technique. I don't want to explain that in detail. Important is to know that in parallel to that, he's doing hundreds of 2D colored images. We need these images for the information of the texture of the scan. And as Till also already mentioned in his presentation, in parallel to that, the scanner is also doing hundreds of NERI images. NERI stands for Near Infrared Imaging, and the infrared light can better penetrate the structure of a tooth and helps us to better visualize the translucency of a tooth and even to detect caries. So long story short, keep in mind we are using 3D, we are using a laser for the 3D object. We are doing 2D pictures in color, 2D color pictures and 2D near pictures. And the good thing is also important to know each picture position will be saved, means we are saving the camera angle, so the position relative to the scan will be saved. And so when you are in the scanning software, if you point on the, on the model with the cursor automatically, the software will display the image of this area from the same view angle. If you point from the other side, it, it will take another picture from the other side and show this one. Let's have a look at the software, and then we will better understand and see the benefits. 
yeah, you see here on the top right the I.O. camera tool. Actually, it's a 2D color picture. And you can even enlarge the picture. So you can even see all the entire series of picture. And the cool thing is you can even use it for the margin line tracing. So simultaneously in 3D and 2D, you can place dots to place, to place the margin line. It might happen that sometimes you don't see, especially on infrared scans, that you don't see properly uh, the margin line. Then you can check the near image, uh, the, the color image, and do it there. Another uh, advantage, uh, I think Till til til mentioned it uh, a couple of weeks ago to me, would also be maybe if you scan a scan body, very often on scan bodies you have information about the implant or the library written on the scan body, and if you don't get the information from the dentist, you could even find it in that picture too. Yeah, the color and shade analysis. So now we see actually what I explained before. If you point on the, on the model now, you see that the software is showing you a picture of exactly that region and this uh, view direction. And with a special feature, you can do that in real time. So if you hover over the scan, automatically a picture will be shown. And with the hotkey, you can freeze the picture to the scan. Means now the picture is on the scan, and if you rotate the scan, uh, the picture will re rotate with it. And why not using now the screenshot management and do a screenshot and print it out or save it as a PDF? Every ceramist would be very grateful to have such information of the adjacent. We know that texture scans, they are not able to show translucency, etc. And for the NERI images, you can uh, apply exactly the same technique as you can see here. If you point on an area, automatically the software will show you an, an eerie image of that tooth, of the adjacent, for example. And isn't that cool? How good you can see the translucency here. It's black and white. You can print it out. And also here, each ceramist would be very happy to have this information when doing the, the ceramics. Thank you for your attention. And I hope you could see some new stuff about exit.